but you're doing it anyway. I did it for many years, but I know. So we just unhooked the whistle off our little thing. So Jackson, you listen to this. You emailed me and you asked me some questions. I'm gonna tell it to you right here, and maybe somebody else will hear. Um, yeah. Good morning, friends. I hope everybody's well. I haven't bought in a truck yet, so it's not a Dodge. It's not a Chevy, it's not a Ford, it's none of that stuff. I haven't done it yet, I, but I am planning. Listen, friends, I, uh, this is, it's not funny for me, but it's, it seems to be, if you folks have followed this channel, I want to say hi to Jackson. Jackson is an 18 year old man. And friends, this isn't, I do a lot of this in the background. I'll, I'll just, I'll just tell you. And I, and I guess in this age of, of, of information, we are in the age of information. There's so much coming. I, I had a vision this morning, like we're, you know, our, our, our face is going through space, the cosmos and stuff just like the, and it's just coming steady at us. And I think that might be some of the reason why I, maybe hold back a little bit. Do you know what I mean? I just don't want to be noise. And I know I've said that lots, but I, I can't seem to escape this helping these young fellers out somehow. I, I, I just, I don't know what it is. I, I, things have changed so much in our world. When I grew up, Listen, I'm going to tell you this. When I was 18 years old, Jackson, you listen to this. You emailed me and you asked me some questions. And I've got your email right here and I'm going to answer them to you right now. I'm not going to email you back. I'm going to tell it to you right here. And maybe somebody else will hear. I was 18 years old. I've told this story, friends, on the, on the, on the channel before. I was 18 and I was, I was out in Yellow Point, out in the bush. And I was raised by my mother and my brother. And uh, my brother and I were raised by my mom in a, in a, in a post and beam unfinished home of about, I don't know, it wasn't many square feet. It was a bathroom. It was an open floor plan with a wood stove right in the middle of the home. Beautiful, big post and beam all unfinished, like the ants running through the, you know, it was, it was beautiful. It was hippie country, no cupboards, just, you know, open. <laughs> And a chimney running right through the center of the house. Kitchen behind it, living space, dining. And it was it was beautiful, friends. It, it really was beautiful. You, you can imagine that, right? Yeah, it, it was glorious. Uh, tar, tar and gravel roof, you know, shed style back. It, it, it was beautiful. Mom, mom's room was downstairs. And then you went up these stairs, like into a loft. into into. My mom built it for, for us three people. Me and my brother and my mom. And it, and it was some of my most wonderful memories as a, as a young man. But I didn't get my driver's license until I was 19 years old. So sometimes, and we were out there. Like, it, it's out there. It's, it's well, it's, it's probably close to 15 minutes out into the bush from here, from where I'm at. I'll try and keep on course here, friends. But I'm excited this morning because I think this is part of my journey. And I don't want to get all ooga booga on you, but I, well, I, I don't think so. I know it is. I know it is because there's been a lot of emails and I don't know if it's come from that a couple of videos ago or, or just the fact that, that these guys have been watching me for a while and, and now they're starting to ask questions. I don't know. But he says there seem, anyway, I got to finish this little story when I was 18. Listen to this, please. I'm 18. I'm a young guy. I've just graduated, I think, or I'm just about to graduate. I'm, I'm catching the bus to school. I don't have a driver's license, no money, no nothing. Just finishing school, okay? And can't wait to get out. Now, I, I, was, I was into the greens. You know, I, I, I was, you know, I, I was. I, I smoked the, the, the goodies there, and, and I was a young 18-year-old man who was getting into his kind of party life, I guess, and that, finishing school. But I was sitting there and I was 18 and I was all alone in this home and we had three big windows, four by eight, like three stacked in a row, Southern exposure, looking out to the, it was just so beautiful there, creek running down, oh, it was glorious there and I miss it. But anyways, and, and, 
and I, I got a little bit depressed and I didn't know why I, I started to get kind of down because I was looking at my hands and I, life was about to happen because I was graduating and I didn't know what I was going to do. I, I had no, no man and no, no dad, just, just nothing, no, no, nothing to look towards to, to be like, you know what I mean? Nothing to be like, just me. And, and, and I was, I got, I got a bit down and I remember it. And, and do you know what, do you know what was playing on the, it was one of those old radios with the turntable in it. it looks like a, a piece of furniture. You know, the ones friends with the radios, <laughs> old, old stuff. It was Alice Cooper. And the song's called 18. And I was 18. And friends, I remember this vividly like it was yesterday. There I was kind of like upset, down a bit. Um, and the song was 18 and I don't know what I want. I'm 18. And uh, it was kind of down, out, down, down, down. You know the tune. If you don't know the tune, listen to it. And I'm telling you right now, young Jackson, listen to that song. And also, go watch my video. If you have not seen my video, Alcohol, the Buckin You Did Not Know. Please go watch that video. You talked about some of that in your email. Go watch it, brother, please. Any young man struggling with, with, with alcohol or, or drugs or you think you got a problem, go watch that video. I will link it in this video. I'm done pussyfooting around. I'm done pussyfooting around. I, I sometimes don't say nothing, friends, and I get asked a lot of this stuff, but I do a lot of this stuff in the background. This has been part of my life for 27 years, and I really don't talk about it that much. I don't, but I've helped a lot of young men, and I, I know things are different now. They're different but some things are the, are, are the same. So he, he asked me, anyways, let me quickly finish this. So I'm, I'm, I'm down and it's 18 and I don't know what to do. And I was like, yeah, this is, this is rough, man. <laughs> this is rough. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've had no, you know. And all of a sudden, the song goes, I'm 18, I don't know what I want. I'm 18 and I like it. And I can't tell you how quickly I changed from literally being almost depressed at that moment to my fist raised in the air. I'm 18 and I like it. Because we're always right exactly where we're supposed to be. It is this thing that, that screws us all up. Not this thing. It's not. Now, these are the times that form a young man who, if you didn't have, I, I really like that saying that, that, that the essential craftsman said, if you weren't jerked up right, well, getting jerked up right is, 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 it's different for everybody, right? It, it's, you know, I didn't come from a ma and pa home. I didn't come from a ma and pa home. And every time I meet somebody at one of these events, I can tell right now, I can tell instantly and I will say it to them, you were raised by your mom, weren't you? And, and nine times out of the 10, they'll go, yes, I was. I can just feel it. There's something, I don't know. I don't know, but it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I want to, I, I guess I, I just want to be my highest person <laughs> while I'm here, friends, at this world. I, I'm, I'm 55 coming up this year. And I can cut trees and I can do all these things and I've done them for years and, 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 and the internet is totally, you know, whatever. I, I just want to be my highest person and be to the highest good. My highest good is for everybody's highest good, is to the good of everyone. And so is yours. Your highest good is to the, to the good of everyone. Just know that. So anyway, I, I guess I just... Maybe I'll see if I can pull up his email here, but uh, I, I just remember, I just remember that, 
being, I wanted to tell that story about when I was 18 and I, and I didn't know. But after that, you know, after 18, I, like I, I went on a, a, a crazy journey for, from 18 till I was 27. I went down a, a very scary road, like past that 18 after that point. It, it was, it was, it was, it was scary. I was lost. And, uh, yeah, so that was, you, you don't need to go there. You don't need to do what I did, or maybe you do, maybe you do, but, but just know, just know that anger, he said in his email that he feels like a lot of young men are angry today. That's what he said in the, uh, in the email. And, and I don't, I, I, you know, anger is secondary. I do know that. You can't just be angry. I, I, I learned that. You're not just angry. Do you understand what I'm saying, Jackson? You're not just angry. You're, you're angry because you're feeling hurt, abandoned perhaps, fearful. And it's easier to be angry than it is to be afraid or hurt feelings. Tell me right now, fellas, isn't it easier to go, than it is to go, you hurt my feelings a little bit there with that one, bud. You know what I mean? It's just easier to say you're angry than it is to say you feel inadequate or insecure or fearful. It's way easier to be angry. Come on now, let's be honest, fellas. So this is just, is part of life. It's part of life and I know things have changed, but I just want to see if I can get this feller's email because I want to share it. He won't mind. Uh, I, I won't, you know, well, I've already said his name, but bought a set of suspenders. Brian, good man. Thanks, buddy. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. I want to know how, how they work for you. you. Let me know. Okay, buddy. You let me know how they are. I want to know. Cool. I just saw your, your order there. Excellent. Oh, here's a, here comes a, okay, here we go. Now, now she's coming in. Here, here's, here's this young feller's uh, email. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going at this. I'm going at this. Friends, if you've been watching my channel for any more than five years, you'll know what I'm about. And you'll know what I've been talking about doing. I want, I, I want to, it's hard for young men now. It's different. I get it. I get it. I want, it does, not just young men, men in general. I went down a freaking rancid road, friends. <laughs> I was on the brink. So I ain't talking from just, you know. So, but that's why I don't say much because I never want to tell nobody what to do. But when you ask me, you're going to get it straight. When you ask me questions about life and this type of thing or not having a role model or any of these things and you're struggling, you're going to get it straight from me. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing for you because I ain't doing you no good by doing that. And if I have a platform that, that I can reach people, any, so, so here, here's some of the stuff here and I'm going to read it. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. Hello. I'm another young man who is in dire need of advice and a drastic life change. He says to me right here, he's 18 years old. Well, 18's young, brother, 18's young. Go easy on yourself. Okay, brother. Go, go, take take a deep one. You're, you're not doing bad. For starters, you're not. You're right on the money. You're right where you're supposed to be, even if you don't think you are. You are. Because if you don't think you're where you're supposed to be, then you're fighting nature. You understand? You're, you're right on course, brother. This is part of it. Be in it. Feel it. Don't like it. You know what I mean? Don't like it. Just... You know, when somebody says to you, you got to accept this, you got to accept this. Do you, do you know what accepting means? It doesn't mean you have to like it to accept something. If somebody's being a jerk off beside you there or doing something, you don't have to like it, but you, you should make it easier on yourself by accepting the fact that it's happening. Acceptance is not liking it. Don't, don't forget that. That's a very important thing. You know, you don't have to like it. Just accepting it will make it easier on you. Your video message to young men really hit my heart. But you said to uh, just be a man, a good man. I just recently turned 18. Brother, you're young. 
you're, you're, you're a young man. I never had my stuff together until I was 27 years old, buddy. I went down a horrible road. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. I felt like I was in a hurry, brother. I got my crap together when I was 27 years old. 27, 28 years old. Like, you don't need to waste that time. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to waste that time. I can't tell you what to do, but you're asking me questions and you're going to get it straight. Um, turned 18, never had a stable, healthy uh, role models. Years of family abuse and other things. Yeah, welcome to the club, brother. You're not alone. So don't don't put yourself in some box that you think you're terminal unique because you're not. Okay, brother, just please don't 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 go down the terminal unique road. It's a lonely, lonely, angry place. That might be part of the anger. You're not alone, brother. Okay? This is the problem I think that a lot of men suffer from these days is they think they're terminal unique and they think no one understands them. Well, Part of the reason you don't think no one understands you is you because you keep it inside all day long and you and you and you ride the white stallion. Well, you might ride that white stallion into the into the ditch uh, and crash. And that's OK, too, because pain is a motivator. Y you know what I'm saying? It's OK to talk to somebody about what you're feeling. And this is a stigma. And everybody hears about this in this men's health thing. I, I haven't gone there. I'm not I'm not. I don't, yes, it is an issue. For sure it is. But, we, we, fellas, we need to get together, man. We need to get together and hoist each other up. You want to stay quiet? Then, then do that. Then do that and see how that works for you. This kid's smart. This young fella's smart. He's talking about it. He's going to, big mouths get well. He's talking about it. So, so, uh, young fella, you're, you're, you're doing, you're ahead of it. You're way ahead of it. But, but give yourself some slack, son, because you're 18 years old. You're actually 17. Dude, that's young. Please be a young man. Just be a young man. I don't know where you got this thing that you need to have your shot together right now, but you don't, brother. You're at where you're at. Live in it. Acknowledge the fact that you're maybe thinking that, you you know, what you've said in here a few times that you might be going down, you know, you've gone down a road here and there that hasn't worked out. Well, you know, use those. You, you, you're you going to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. And you're going to be 80 years old if you make it that far. The world's your oyster, young man. Okay. So I currently battle substance abuse and addiction. I'm currently actively trying to change. Well, what does that mean? What does that mean you're actively trying to change? What does that look like? I can't really, I, I don't know what, how to speak to that because it, it doesn't, that, I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing? Just telling yourself that you need to change and acknowledging that you've got a problem and you need to change or have you done something about it? I think, I think one thing you're doing is you're reaching out so that that there is is doing a lot, and I will tell you that right now. So so good on you, young man. Good on you for doing that, because a lot of folks won't do that. So this looks active. You're taking action, brother. This is what you're doing. This is action. You want to change, hey? You do. So good for you. I'm talking to you, brother. You know who you are. You know who you are. Um, so I, I can't run from this stuff no more, friends, and I may as well flap it out right here. Why not? Um, I've been doing various jobs, 13, uh, uh, working on farms and this and that, but I'm lost. I feel like most adults, most young adults are angry. I feel like most young adults are angry. This is what he says in here. Uh, I'm still lost, but speaking on my experiences, I'm angry at the world. I didn't have a good start in life. I've had issues maintaining healthy, personal, and romantic relationships. Brother, you're 17. You're preparing for what's to come. You're preparing for what's to come. Young man, okay? You know who you are. You're preparing. Get, cut yourself some slack. Will you do me a favor? 
Jackson, old boy. Could you do me this favor? Just me and you? Cut yourself some freaking slack for a moment. Ease up. You're doing okay. You are. You're doing okay. <laughs> Don't clobber yourself up too hard. You're doing okay. On that note, brother, do me a favor. Do yourself a favor, actually. Don't do it for me. Do it for you. Go, go do something for someone for nothing. Just for the plain, sheer plain, go help somebody out. Get out of yourself. Okay? Get out of yourself. You got food in the roof? You, know, you got a device because you, you've emailed me here. You must have a device. Things can't be that bad, brother. So listen to me. Go get out of yourself. Stop using. I'm just going to say it to you. Okay? I, I'm just going to say it to you. Stop using substances. Okay, bud? How about that? How do you like that? That's, I'm telling you to do it. So you can take that for what you want. But you can take it from a fella who's, who's had quite a run on that area. Yeah. Just stop doing that. Don't try. Jackson. I know it's easier said than done. Don't try. Just do it. And see what happens. And get honest. All the, all the messages are here, brother. They've been here for many, many years. And I'm glad that you've reached out to me. I am. I'm glad you reached out to me. This is not easy for me to do, Jackson. This is not easy for me to do this on my YouTube channel. Just so you know that. It's not. It's not easy for me. But I'm doing it because I believe it's very important. And it's a poignant, point, poignant thing in our, in our world today. And I'm, I'm a nobody, dude. I'm a nobody. I'm just a guy who can relate to what, what you're going through. That's all. And you've asked me. So you're getting it. Hey, buddy. Right? So um, I would just like your advice on what, uh, what a good man is. Well, I think you know that, actually. I think we all do. I do. I think it's just we, 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 we skew things. You, you know what it is, brother Jackson. You do. You know what a good man is. You do. See, here's how I see this in a nutshell. Okay, you want to you know how I see this? We feel about ourselves how we act. If we're lying, stealing, cheating, drinking, drugging, how, are, how is that going to make our self-esteem feel? How is that going to make us feel? Jackson, brother, or anybody else watching this video, how do you think that's going to make you feel when you know you shouldn't be doing something, but you're doing it anyway? I did it for many years, friend. I know. It's called insanity. Doing the same thing after, 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 and, and expecting something different to happen while you do the same things. It's actually insanity. That is the definition of insanity. <laughs> doing the same things over and over and expecting different results. We've all heard these cliches. It's the truth. That's, that's, that's the definition of it. So when we change, when we start to be nice to one another or bend down and open that door for somebody and help that lady with her groceries or, or help your buddy do something, just give your time, give of yourself. A good man gives, he serves, he doesn't take. So if you're asking me what a good man is, a good man serves. He serves. He helps. He doesn't lie. He doesn't cheat. He doesn't... He's just a good person. That's what a good man is. He helps his fellow man, woman, and child. I think we all know. I do. I, 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 I honestly do. I never had it neither, Brother Jackson. I, I didn't have the examples. I didn't. I created it. I created it. We didn't have the internet, brother. We didn't have the internet. You just went out and did it. So I'm glad that that video uh, turned your head around. And, and I ain't, I, I'm not here telling nobody to do nothing. I'm not. Get that straight. I'm not. But I'm telling you to cut yourself some slack. You're 17 freaking years old, coming up on 18. You're right on the money. But start now, young man. Start now.
Do you know what I think you need to do, Jackson, to be honest with you? And I, and I don't say this all the time, but I think you need to listen to what's going on in here a little more than, than hanging around up in here and feel a little more instead of, instead of thinking. You might be thinking too much, Jackson. You're thinking too much. Just feel. Talk to the big fella. If you don't have a connection to something, find one. I don't care what it is. I honestly, I don't, it doesn't matter to me what you get into. It could be nature. Just go, go into nature and sit under a tree and look up and go, who, who, who made this freaking tree? It's much bigger than I am. And it's quite a bit older than I am. Sit under the tree, open your palms up and go, okay, bud, you can have these problems. You can take these thoughts, take them away. I don't want them anymore. Hey, try that. You, you, you understand? Get connected. Give it away. You don't need to pack it, son. You don't need to pack it. You don't. You don't need to pack it. I wish I figured this out when I was 18. I didn't. I had to go down a road. Well, I chose to go down a road. That was it was a close call for me. It was nip and tuck in the end. But the puzzle worked out that I was able to get a couple moments of clarity. And I, I got pulled out of the bite. So... You have an opportunity, Jackson. You have a major opportunity to help a lot of young men out. And this is the problem. We're afraid to get judged, aren't we, fellas? I know I am. I know I am. I'd rather be cutting a tree down, to be quite frank with you. That's what my mind says. But everything keeps pushing me towards this other... That's a personal thing. I, I can't explain that. But I, I just, you know, I would rather be talking to you over working on a stump or, you know, falling a tree or... So all I know is getting dirty helped me, brother. Jackson, get, getting dirty helped me. So, so, you know, that, that's part of it. So I'm, I'm not here to tell you what to do, but, but you reached out to me and your, your email really touched me because I, I don't know where the anger comes from, but I do know it's secondary, bro. It's secondary. Okay, it is. Every time I do one of these little videos and touch on some of these, I get a whole slam of these emails from these young men, which tells me something. So I don't know. I, I, I don't want to come across as something I ain't because this is just me truly. This is who I am. Uh, I've got an extensive background in this area and I just haven't brought it really to the channel. But I, I, do think we can, I do think we can help the men of the world together when we get together and, and lift one another up. I do believe that and that's why I believe that this, this internet is an amazing tool of peace and strength. And, and I do, I, I, I think it can help, but I, I think it starts with guys like this fella, this Jackson fella, who, who reached out and, and got vulnerable. That's where I think it starts. But it's what you do with this now, Jackson. It's what you do with this. You got, you got responded to, Jackson. You put something out into the universe and you, someone responded to you. You understand? Someone responded because we're listening, brother. We're listening to you. So I've heard you now. So what action are you going to take? Jackson, talking to you. Are you going to act on this or just go back to the same old stuff? And if you don't know what to do, I've given you some suggestions. I've given you some, some suggestions. And here's another suggestion for you that actually changed my life. And some people can take this and they can take it however they want. I am not a religious man. I don't go to church. I've never been to church to, well, at that, not never, because I have been to church. I went to church at Christmas. I got invited to go to a sermon by my buddy, so I went to church in support of him. I go to church at weddings and funerals. But my mom raised me that, that, that the big fella, is, he's everywhere, and he made it all happen. The creator, whatever you want to use, I'm not going there. But I'm going to tell you this, Jackson. I'm going to tell you this. This changed my life, and I started this habit when I was 27 years old. Every day I rolled out of my bed, Every single morning for the last 27 years, I roll out of my bed. I'm right there, and I roll down on my knees. Wood man, wood man. I do, and I give it up. I give it up. I don't know what, what he looks like, where he is, or who he is, or what. none of that stuff. I just know there's something. And I look up, and I say, thank you, brother. Thank you. Come with me today. Give me love. Get, just give me love. Take, take the rest. You can have the rest. Just give me love. And thank you. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. 
the courage to change the things I can, which is action, Jackson. Action, Jackson. That's your name, brother. That's your name going forward. And the wisdom to know the difference. And that is this. This is the, the, this is the thing. This isn't the wisdom, really. The wisdom is in here. And the wisdom. I think that's how that saying goes. God grant me the serenity, accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change you can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So that's, that helped me. I, I, I start my day out on my knees, brother. That's just what I do. And it absolutely changed my life. And I didn't have to go down on my knees. I chose to go down there. I chose to go down there and just say, hey, what I've been doing hasn't been working, big fella. Is there, you know, I know you're stronger than I am. I know you got this game. Jackson, listen, if it wasn't for you, Jackson, you see what you did? You see the power you have, Jackson? You did this video, not me. You did it. Not me. And I'm uploading this sucker and I, I ain't freaking uh, editing nothing. I'm throwing it straight up this morning. Don't even know what time it is. But you did this. Action Jackson. To all the young men out there, listen to me very, very closely. I've been there. You're not alone. You think you're alone and you think you're terminal unique and you think no one understands you and you think your life's been rough and tough and crazy and woe is me. It hasn't been. It hasn't been. It's how it's been so that you can be one crazy son of a gun and you're going to help a whole pile of freaking people. Grasp a hold, brother. Grasp a hold. It's the same thing that's available to everyone. It's in here, it's up there. Get a hold of it and get moving, son. Okay? You want to ask me what, what that is? What being a man is? Well, sometimes there's a little bit of getting down and getting dirty. Now let's go, brother. I want to hear I want to hear what's going on in the next couple of days for you. I want to hear another email from you. And I want to hear it. And I want to hear that you're feeling better and that you took some advice and you took some action, Jackson. Friends, work hard, be honest, and be kind to people. And let's start lifting one another up. I'm getting pumped here. That probably means something. Maybe I better start listening a little closer, Jackson. Over and out.